Hello, I'm Nora Murad from Kohler Power Systems. Today we are going to talk about the wiring of the Kohler Power Reserve System. The Kohler Power Reserve includes a hybrid solar and battery inverter controlled by intelligent software. It comes in both whole home and partial home backup. Whole home backup has two options for the solar connection. In the first, we have the AC option, which keeps the solar connected directly to the load. And the second is the DC coupled option, which connects solar directly to the Kohler Power Reserve inverter. First, we will open the inverter and take a look at the connections. Using a five millimeter Allen wrench to remove the cover of the inverter, our hybrid inverter has multiple connections, an auto transformer connection, four MPPTs per PV, a backup connection for the protected loads panel, AC connection for the grid, a connection for the measuring CTs, and the connections for the battery management system of the batteries. The inverter and auto transformer conduit fittings are a one inch diameter. Appropriate adapters should be applied when conduit fittings with different dimensions are used. Insert the corresponding fittings and then fasten the joints. The next step is the connection of the auto transformer. Using a three millimeter Allen wrench, Remove the four screws and remove the cover. The connections on the auto transformer are the AC connection and the NTC, or temperature sensor. Both connections go to the inverter. The maximum AC current is 40 amps. We recommend using a number eight gauge copper conductor rated for 90 degrees C. For the NTC connection, you can use the set of pre-made cables shipped with the inverter. If a longer cable is needed, you can either use 22 or 24 gauge 600 volt insulated wire. The two pin terminal goes to the inverter and the other end goes to the auto transformer spring connectors marked NTC. Run the NTC power and ground. Wires to the inverter through the auto transformer con conduit. Connect power conductors to the ATX terminals L1 and, and L2. Connect the green ground wire to the ground PE terminal. Connect the two pin terminal to TX NTC. Once the auto transformer has been wired, take a photo within the Kohler Power Reserve dealer app and press next to move on to the next step. After wiring is completed, fasten the auto transformer front cover. Next, the PV wiring connection. For the PV runs, we recommend using a number 12 gauge copper conductor rated for 90 degrees C. Our inverter comes with four independent MPPTs for up to four different strings. In this video, we will connect only one string, but the process is the same for multiple strings. Run the PV conductors through one or more conduit openings on the left side of the inverter. Connect the PV conductors to the PV terminals. Now we will show the connection of the batteries. In this video, we will show the installation locating the inverter to the right of the battery enclosure. If you are installing the inverter on the left, the batteries and BMS must be flipped. The COM in is on the top and the positive connection is on the bottom. The first step is to identify the harness kit to begin wiring the battery modules. The harness kit includes a set of communication wires and the power cables. Depending on the size of the battery bank, the number of wires may vary. For this video, we will connect the 15 kilowatt hour system. Begin by connecting the COM in cable into the COM in on the BMS. With the same communications cable, connect to, to the communications port on the battery beneath the BMS. Second from top position, labeled D1. Continue to connect the same communications cable until all of the batteries have been connected. Note that the order in which these are connected is important. For the 20 kilowatt hour system, the correct order of installation of the power cable is to begin at module number one, right below the BMS, and finish at module number eight, which is the top module in the upper expansion enclosure. Note that the connector colors must always match when wiring the cables, red with red and black with black. The batteries connect in series with, to each other. Begin to wire the batteries together from positive to negative in series to each other. Route the final negative wire from the last battery on the last enclosure to the negative of the BMS on the main enclosure. Next, we connect the battery bank to the inverter. Route cables through conduit openings and connect long positive, red, and negative black ferrule ends of the battery cable to the inverter positive and negative battery input. Plug in the long positive and negative cables 
into the same color BMS connectors. The following step is the installation of the power hub, which is the wireless monitoring and control system of the Kohler Power Reserve. First, locate the two cables coming from the right of the power hub and connect the larger white connector into the communications cable labeled backup 24 volt. The other small black cable will be eventually wired into the display panel on the front cover of the enclosure. Next, plug in the RJ485 connection from the power hub into the out COM port on the opposite side of the BMS. Then plug in the green four pin communication connector to the inverter. Once the system has been wired, take a photo within the Kohler Power Reserve dealer app of main enclosure wiring and press next to move on to the next step. Next, we will connect the CTs. The current transformers are required for the system installation to detect grid, current direction, and magnitude for proper system orientation. The two grid CTs must be installed on L1 and L2 on the home's main utility entry cables. L1 and L2 are determined by the grid connection marking on the inverter. Make sure that the AC cable is completely isolated from AC power before connecting the CTs. CTs are labeled either L1 or L2 and must be facing the correct direction. The house side of the CT must face the main panel and the grid side must face the meter. Route the other end of the CT through the CT port and insert the four pin terminal at the inverter as shown. After all the wiring is completed, close the wiring distribution box. The next step is the wiring of the backed up connections. For whole home configurations, make sure an RDT automatic transfer switch is installed. When the grid is down, the maximum load must not exceed the inverter rating, otherwise the inverter will turn off and the loads will not be backed up until load is reduced to max rated output of inverter. Make sure the inverter is completely isolated from any DC or AC power before connecting backup cable. When using the backup function of the inverter, corresponding protective devices like AC breakers should be applied to ensure safety or satisfy local requirements. For this connection, we recommend a number six gauge copper wire rated for 90 degrees C. Route the backup cables through the backup port. Connect backup cables to the backup terminals on the inverter. Once the system has been wired, begin wiring the automatic transfer switch and take a photo with the Kohler Power Reserve dealer app and press next to move on to the next step. Next is the on-grid connection on the inverter. Keep in mind that an external AC breaker is needed for on-grid connection to isolate from grid when necessary. The on-grid connection going into the normal side of the ATS will need to be tapped using Polaris lugs. Route the grid cables through the port closest to the grid connectors and connect to the grid labeled N, L1, and L2 connectors. We recommend using number six gauge copper for conductor rated for 90 degrees C. Once the system has been wired, take a photo of the inverter within the Kohler Power Reserve dealer app and press next to move on to the next step. And that's it for the wiring part of the installation of the Kohler Power Reserve system. If you would like to learn more, please visit our product page. My name is Nora Murad from Kohler. Thanks for watching.